I use pretty much anything. Um, I'm always keeping an eye out for um, images that I think might be useful, although I won't necessarily know what sort of work they're going to go into. And I will, in the, in the collage aspect of what I do, I will take materials from all sorts of places. Um, newsprint, for instance, but the older the better. Modern newsprint, you, you can't do much with because the quality of the paper is so poor. If you go back beyond about 50 years, the, the quality of the paper is better. And that can be really interesting. You can use all sorts of that. Magazines, um, catalogs, for instance, from shows, exhibits, art dealers, and so on. Art magazines. Um, I use a lot of book material. I mean, I have way too many books anyway, but. Uh, and I will sometimes use some of those, but I will look out for material in everywhere from yard sales to eBay to whatever. I do use photographs. Photographs, usually not the ones I've taken. My wife does a lot of photography and I will use some of those that she's discarded because I find over or underexposed photographs fascinating. And I will sometimes use them just as contrasting material because of the paper that they're printed on and the finish. It can work to put that against something else. Um, I do a lot of drawing, a lot of painting. It depends very much on the work I'm doing. I sometimes do installation work and that becomes something else. I mean, I have a background in theater and that's where I think that becomes a part of it where there's a sort of theatrical element to that. Either the piece you have sparks an idea from a picture, so you're working from the material, or once you've embarked on a piece, then you're looking for pieces that will enhance it. But it all comes down to spending an incredible amount of time flicking through things, looking for that picture that you think you cut out a year and a half ago, but you no longer know its whereabouts in any way, shape or form. So there's a lot of that goes on too. It's a lot of searching and time consuming going through stuff. Making art is not, it's not a question of walking down the street and being struck with inspiration and suddenly being able to put all that together. There's always the hard work of getting it to fruition.